guys, Mike from Triari here. I apologize for the setting and the bad lighting. Unfortunately, it can't be avoided right now due to my work. I want to talk to you today about the Olight M2R Pro Warrior. This is a flashlight that I picked up on a Black Friday sale from Amazon for about $82 and some change, I think. I'm used to using the Streamlight ProTac HLX. I wanted to give this light a try. I've heard some very mixed reviews about Olight. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. I wanted to try one of their products for myself and see if it was something that I wanted to carry in my own personal kit and possibly recommend to others. So I ordered this light, like I said, on a Black Friday sale. I believe it was $82 and some cents. I just received it last week and I want to do a little unboxing and just a short video talking about my thoughts. So I actually did open the packaging once before I decided I wanted to make a video on this. So the box originally came with plastic wrap around it and I did remove that already. Just looking at the packaging, uh, it really reminded me of like a flagship smartphone packaging. Everything is printed very nicely. There's some information and features on the back. Uh, like I said, the packaging just really reminds me of a higher-end smartphone, which I know is not necessarily indicative of the quality of the product inside, but I was impressed by the packaging that it came in. The box is a magnet closure, and if you open it up, there's this nice little note here that says, Thank you for being a part of our Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy. There is a card here that uh, says, Congrats on your new Olight M2R Pro Warrior and it talks about how to remove the insulating film prior to the first use and to charge it fully prior to your first use and has some charging instructions on this card here. We're going to go ahead and open that up and set it aside. Next, there comes another package which I have not opened yet. So, let's see here. This appears to be a lanyard for the light and also the charging cable. Now one thing that I liked about these is that they're a USB rechargeable light uh, that affixes via a magnet so you're not plugging anything in. It's very easy to charge in the downtime or when it's not being used. That was one of the features that drew me to this light to start with, and it looks like the charging cable shipped with a protective cover over the USB plug. Um, again, not necessarily indicative of the product and its quality, but I do like the packaging. And then here is the actual user manual, which as we all know, shouldn't be read. We should just plug the product in, charge it up, and start using it immediately. So the only other thing left in the packaging is the flashlight itself. And it does come with a pouch to keep the flashlight in. The pouch is uh, molly attached, but it looks like it could be, uh, you know, a belt could be slid through this or a duty belt, or you could attach it to a molly vest or tactical vest, a plate carrier or a tactical backpack of some kind. There's a buckle closure here, and in order to open it, you can just press down and it comes right open and this is the actual M2R Pro light itself. This is the black uh, light with the blue trim which I, I do like the look of. I think it looks very nice. Um, it's, it's a good size, a tad bit bigger I think than the Streamlight ProTac HLX that I'm used to. I don't have one of those here. I wish I did for a size comparison. Uh, it feels good in the hand. There's some heft, some weight to it. Uh, the end of the light has uh, these edges that you know could potentially be used to drive off an attacker. Obviously it wouldn't be a primary go-to for a personal protection item or a self-defense weapon, but in uh, 
a scenario where maybe you can't carry a weapon, but you can carry a flashlight. This could serve as a dual purpose. It has a what appears to be a very heavy-duty clip uh, attached to it that would work to fix the light itself to Molly or to the inside of a pocket or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and charge up this light and we're going to use it a little bit here and I'm just going to give you my initial impressions uh, of the light quality and the throw and that it says that it's a throw of 300 meters with a maximum of 1800 lumens. There are a couple different uh, modes that it can be used in. We're going to go over uh, all of that. So this is the yellow protective film that the card tells you to go ahead and remove the tail cap and take the film off prior to charging. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and get this charged up for a bit and then we will come back and take a look at the light and its function and the different modes. All right, I did want to do just a really quick video about the charging process. I have the cable uh, plugged into just uh, a standard charger that I've got here, and I just wanted to very quickly show that the cable, when not charging, has a green LED, and then all you do is take the butt of the flashlight and the magnet attaches very quickly. The light changes to a red light. And then if we unplug it, it's going to switch back to green. So when this light is fully charged, it will show green. And while it is charging, it shows red. So I'm going to leave it uh, for a while and let it charge fully. And then we'll take a look. All right, guys. I have the MR2 Warrior all charged up. Just wanted to be somewhere dark so I could kind of show the light a little bit. Pressing the tail cap switch will activate the light. And as you can see, it is extremely bright. Casts out a, a fairly significant distance. Um, pretty good illumination. I like it. Tail cap switch to turn the light off. There is also a side switch that activates a dimmer mode. Another press of the side switch to turn off that dimmer mode. With that light on, you can hold the side switch and cycle through different brightnesses. And when the dim mode is on, if you press the tail cap switch, you automatically activate the brightest mode. Pressing the tail cap switch again turns the light off. But the next time that you use the side switch, you're right back into the last mode that you had it on. So there is a bit of a memory feature when it comes to using the side switch versus the tail cap switch. One thing that I have noticed about this light is that it tends to get hot fairly quickly when you're running it in the bright mode. Um, it hasn't uh, caused any kind of failures. It's not enough to hurt the hand or impede use of the flashlight in any way. So whether that's relevant to you or not, I can't really say. Um, but there you go. The MR2 Warrior by Olight. All right, guys. So there it is, the Olight M2R Pro Warrior. Been using this flashlight for a couple of weeks now. The charging is really convenient. It's very easy to carry. The one thing that I will note is that the end toward the lens can get pretty warm if you're running it on the brightest mode for a long period of time. However, it never really became uncomfortable to hold or too hot to touch even running the light for long minutes, lots of minutes at a time. So uh, would I buy this again? Probably. I haven't really
been super rough with it, but I haven't seen anything to make me think that it wouldn't be reliable. Would I recommend it as an EDC type of flashlight, everyday carry flashlight, something to keep on you or in the house or in your vehicle? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that at that price point, it's a really good option. Uh, I will be doing something a little bit later to compare this to the Streamlight ProTac, but uh, for now I would say that this is a great light and um, yeah, I wouldn't have any hesitation about recommending this for EDC purposes.